Right, so every now and again I show off things from my university on this channel because it does take up a fair amount of my time, and sometimes I think there's interesting things to show off. So I got this course called Process and Energy Equipment. It really is about as exciting as it sounds. But they show off these demos as well, which are like small little interesting sciencey things. Most of them have been kind of lackluster, but one was pretty interesting. It was the liquid nitrogen ping pong ball explosion. So you've probably seen this video on the internet. It's where you dump some liquid nitrogen into a, a plastic bottle and throw it into a barrel with warm water. Dump some ping pong balls on top and wait for an explosion. I mean, you can see for yourself here. Tough life. <laughs> cool guys, and look at explosion. <laughs> So now for that science portion where I explain what is actually happening here, if you're interested though. If you're not, I suppose you should probably click this video away. But yeah, as you may know, under atmospheric conditions, uh, nitrogen is actually a gas. So you have to cool it down a lot in order to turn it into liquid nitrogen. Now the specific volume of a liquid is a lot lower than that of a gas. So as soon as you expose this liquid nitrogen to normal atmospheric conditions, it starts to boil off already. And then you decided to pour it into a small little bottle, where it really can't expand. And then what you do is you throw that bottle into warm water, which is able to transfer heat even faster. So since this nitrogen really wants to expand, but the bottle just can't expand, the pressure starts to build up. Then you wait around for a bit, and then the bottle eventually has just had enough from that pressure, and it rips open. That's when you get the explosion. The ping pong balls are pretty much just for style there. They don't really serve any practical purpose. Anyways, with all that hefty science out of the way, yeah, this was a pretty cool little experiment. They ran it once before this, but nothing actually happened. Apparently because they didn't screw the cap on tight enough. Yeah, so far this year, university has been uh, pretty okay. You know, first quarter we had to build a little drill bot with stepper motors. You had to be able to drill some small holes on some coordinates. I think it turned out pretty okay. Apart from that, you also got some other courses. You know, we have the differential equation, dynamics, mechanics, calculus, heat and mass transfer, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics. A lot of icks there. Not all in one quarter, though. It's been spread apart over two quarters. But yeah, they do know how to keep you busy there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this short little video. I might make a more expanded video later down the line, actually. Uh, talking about what I did. More, perhaps. But you know, there's only so much science a man could take in one day. But until next time...